Hello, today I got another product from Banggood. It's Mastool G1200 Digital Microscope. On top of the box is nicely protected 7-inch LCD microscope and short but clear manual. Under that we can find microscope stand and unexpected USB charger and cable. Stand it is in two pieces. To assemble just screw the holder into bottom part and tie the nut. From a side is another nut to set stiffness of the tilt. On the back side is two wheel for set the height of microscope and another knob from behind to block the set position. Everything run nice and clear. In the hole for attach the microscope is two screw with plastic protector for tighten the microscope in its place. But be gentle with tightening because microscope housing is entire plastic. And here on base plate are four rubber legs. From side of microscope is tiny hole for push the reset button, USB plug for charging, micro SD card slot and a trimmer for set the light and tense. Before we continue with review we need to charge the battery, but firstly I show you how I destroyed my old G600 microscope. Well someday I want to use the microscope, but the battery is empty so I just plug it to charger and the damage was made. I got that Blitzwolf Quick Charge 3 here in workshop, plug to volt amp meter and then to ESDT MP2 charger. Great charger for Sony batteries, but where's the catch? When we plug this charger to a QC3 USB port it communicate with USB charger. We can still see here 5 volts, but when I plug on Sony 7.4 volt battery ESDT charger tail Blitzwolf charger. Hey, I need 9 volt to charge that battery and it's instantly switched to 9 volt. By the way, QC3 charger can give also 12 volts output if consumer request. Now you know, I just plugged the microscope to another port on volt amp meter and the damage was done, cause I charged it with 9 volt instead of 5. School was made for me, no play with quick charge and parallel charging. But if you buy 7 inch version we got charger and cable into box, it's 5 volt 2 amp USB charger. When we plug the charger to microscope it instantly turn on. If we turn it off, it will charge the battery, but only with 0.5 to 0.6 amp. But if we charge the battery and use the microscope, the current trace to about 1.4 amp. With fully charged battery, we got about 1 amp consumption on USB. Fully charged battery make microscope working for 10 minutes longer than 2 hours in my case, with max LED brightness. But it will charge about 3 to 4 hours. When it's full, red LED turn it off. Let's go through the menu now. On the front of microscope we got main knob to set focus and 6 button to navigate through the menu and control the microscope. First button is for turn on and off, M button is for menu, D button is for mode and on right side we got up, down and confirm button. If we turn on the microscope and push up and down button we can digitally zoom the image in 4 step but not increase 4 times as it say, just a bit. If we push the menu button, we come into menu. First part of menu depends on what mode we are into, in that case video. So we can set here recorded video quality, clip length, dynamic range, exposure and date stamp turn on or off. If we push the M button again, we come to second part of microscope menu. Here we can set after how much time the LCD backlight turn off, auto power off time, frequency, language, date and time, SD card format, default all settings and microscope info. If we push the D button we come to photo mode and now again press the M button to get a photo menu. Here we can set capture mode single or every few seconds, resolution of taken photos, continue shooting on or off from time we set into capture mode, quality, sharpness, color, ISO, exposure and anti-shaking can date stamp turn off or on. Also in preview mode we got some menu like protection against erasing files and slideshow. When we're into video or photo mode simply take it with OK button. Up and down button can be used for magnification, but not on files. On captured files it will always be native size of video or photo. We can set height of microscope from 130 to about 20 mm. But the best thing on that 7 inch version is that tilting head. It allows us to tilt microscope away from working area, so we got much more accessible area and easier view to LCD, compared to G600 where we got microscope all the time on the way and got no clear view to LCD. 
and now check the most interesting specification, magnification. I just put a caliper under the lens and measure 1mm lines on the LCD screen. If I lift microscope all the way up so on minimal magnification I can measure this number on LCD screen, so magnification about 7.5 times. Then I lower down the microscope to about 20mm and measure that numbers. but still got a bit tilted microscope. When I set microscope perpendicular and lower down as much it still can focus and set digital magnification to 4, I can measure 1mm distance on LCD just 100mm. So I would say maximum magnification is 100 times, but it's only for checking, not for work under the lens. Specifications say 1200 times magnification. I don't know where they find that number. Maybe some laboratory in Olympus can handle that number, but not that. Anyway, I think that microscope is suitable for home workshop like mine and for that job magnification is just right, otherwise it will be harder to work under. Of course we can also review the clips and photo we taken, it can be useful on repairs to check results of measure anytime. And now check the files on SD card. We got here photo files in JPG format, size of same photos is just 300 kilobytes, some are bigger but not over 1 megabyte. Videos are captured in MOW files, it's in full HD resolution and it take 5 minutes video clips. If you record longer it make another clip after 5 minutes and every video file is about 550 megabyte big, also if you record just a few seconds. And the video is without audio, there are no built in microphone as in the G600 version. Now let's just take a quick look inside. Here I got entire lens with sensor, focus mechanism and LED ring. You can see that the focus area is pretty long, from limit to limit knob make almost two turns, on G600 it only make one turn, that means that focusing is easier and more accurate. If we dig a bit deeper we come to the sensor. On the bottom of housing is battery, it's 1S LiPo battery 3000mAh capacity with built in protection. And here we got entire circuit board. I think that's it about that microscope, surely I forgot many details you're wondering about, so simply leave a comment and I will try to answer. My opinion is that it's awesome microscope for home workshop, magnification is far enough and working with it is pleasure, because we got entire working area free and also got view to working area or LCD with just turning the eye. Also the monitor is right size to work comfort, so I think there's no sense to buy a G600. That's it for today, thanks for watching, like, share and subscribe if you like and see you next time.